I'm Jan Heimbaugh and this is The Hammer with Heimbaugh. There is absolutely no way that this is going to be known as the BIAW Bulletin. It's day 91 of a 105 day legislative session. So we're in the last two weeks and in a smattering of random news, vaccine eligibility expands to anyone over 16 on April 15th. So that means go get your vaccine so we can get the state back open. At the time I filmed this, there was a lot of chatter that the governor was gonna roll a whole bunch of counties back to phase two. Let's hope he didn't do that. What a terrible idea. And uh, Prince Philip died, which means that Queen Elizabeth enters eight days of mourning. And there's a pause on all state affairs and no laws will be given royal assent. Now, if only we could pause the state legislative affairs stuff going on over at the Capitol, but we can't. Uh, this last week, a couple of things happened around carbon. The state Senate passed two relatively large carbon policy bills. One is a cap and trade, or uh, as those of us who end up paying it, cap and tax, which increases the price of energy overall and the cost of building materials and reduces our home buyers purchasing power. The other one is a low carbon fuel standard, which talks about the fuel mix and makes fuel more expensive, which means it's gonna be more expensive to get to your job sites and get materials to your job sites. The um, interesting thing about both of these proposals, they have not yet uh, passed the full legislature, so they're not going to the governor's desk yet, uh, is that currently both of them are tied to the passage of a statewide transportation package. And that brings me to the next legislative rodeo. Yeehaw! Transportation package. This last week, there was a work session in the Senate Transportation Committee on a proposal, a balance sheet, and a list of about 30 new and existing taxes and fee increases. Uh, and then today, the bills that would implement those lists were uh, heard in the Senate Transportation Committee. BIW would love to support a transportation package. However, we can't support this one because it does take a direct hit at home ownership opportunities. This would create, this transportation package would create a statewide transportation benefit district, which would be funded through impact fees on new construction. So it would be $1.50 per thousand dollars of assessed value on new residential construction and up to $3 per thousand dollars of assessed value on commercial construction. So just to put that in real life terms, that means on the average median or the median new home price in Washington, you would price an additional 1,976 people out of ownership opportunities there. Washington just can't afford to do this. The other thing that this does is it creates a constitutional nexus problem. Why is a, new con a newly constructed house in Ponderay County paying for multimodal bus service in Everett? It doesn't make sense. Those impact fees, if they're going to be paid, need to actually benefit the, the person or the, the project paying them and not funding uh, bus service somewhere else. BIW in these last days of session will continue to fight to ensure that these things don't get passed into law to add to the cost of home ownership. Home ownership and housing opportunity should be of paramount importance to the legislature uh, and we will continue to bring that message to them. Thanks for watching another fair to middling installment of the B, uh, not the BIW Bulletin, oh my gosh, they've gotten to me. Uh, the Hammer with Heimbaugh, Home Start Here, Heimbaugh out. <laughs>